All right, four quick quick actions. What we're going to do is start with the quick actions that are built into our, our Mac. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this PDF and I'm going to look at what the quick actions are that are available. This one gives me the ability to mark up our PDF and within that markup, capability, I mean, that markup feature, there's lots of capabilities for marking up a document, which we'll look at in a second. Now let's look at an MP4. Let's see what our quick actions are there. Uh, we can rotate left. Okay, not a whole lot. Let's look at the JPEG. Quick actions are to rotate left, mark up, or create a PDF. And, um, and the, here's another PDF there. Okay, so now let's go to the to this PDF, let's click on quick actions, let's click on markup, and look across the top here at all the options that we have for marking up this PDF. So we can actually scribble on the document. Uh, this is super handy over here on the right, you can add a signature, okay? And I know a lot of us use third-party apps like DocHub or DocuSign. Uh, you don't need it, actually. If you want to sign a PDF, you can just use this feature. Um, and a lot of other options that to pretty it up, you can uh, crop it. And, uh, and then you can share it from here um, in a number of different places. I'm going to actually undo these because I don't want to save them. And I'm just going to click Done. So that is an example of a quick action, uh, the quick action feature that comes with every PDF you already have in your Mac. But what's cool is that we can build our own and we can customize it. So that's what we're going to do now. So now we're going to take a look at how to do our own custom quick actions. So we're going to type here in our keyword search automator. And that's going to bring us here at the file menu at the top. We're going to click uh, new quick action. We're going to click on the little cog wheel and then we're going to click choose. Now this I know looks a little bit overwhelming, not to worry. We're going to keep this super simple. So what we want to do right up there, it says workflow receives current PDF files. Okay, and then over here on the left under library, we're going to choose PDFs and then now look at all the things that are available here under the quick actions for PDFs. I do encourage you to explore this at a later date and see all the cool things that are here. What we're going to do right now is we're going to choose split PDF. And what does split PDF mean? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to we're, I'm going to find a PDF that has multiple pages. And it's going to split it up into, let's say it's a 12 page PDF, it's going to split it up into 12 individual pages. This comes in handy when maybe you just want to give specific pages from your PDF to someone, or maybe you just want to have the first couple of pages as a teaser or a lead magnet or that sort of thing. So we're going to click select PDF and um, in any application, and then we're going to drag this over here onto the deck and we want it we're going to have the output saved to desktop and we'll keep the name uh, actually let's change the name to split pdf and do not check replaced existing files and then we're going to go up here to click file and then save and we're going to name it split pdf and click save Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go to our sample folder that was here, our demo folder here on the left, and we're going to right click on this multiple page PDF. We're going to click quick actions and you'll see right there now it appears split PDF. So if we do that, it's running, it's running, it's running. And then we're going to go to desktop. It should be there. There it is. There are all the pages of that PDF that are right there on my desktop. And um, yeah, super cool, right? So I encourage you to go in here to go into Automator and look at all the cool options that you have available under Quick Action for various types of files.